Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Brazen Blaze Overview. Another title from my dearest studio, but they kinda went off the rails. Cause normally they are known from the visual novels that we've played every single one on the channel so far. And it seems like they're dipping their toes in some new mechanics, which is nice because then in future projects they will be more experienced in adding more complex features. So Brazen Blaze is a multiplayer combat action game where following the simplest rule of punching someone down, you fly around the arenas causing mayhem and distraction, equipped with a variety of weaponry that can be found on the playground of chaos. Long story short, it's another hero game, but it introduces some interesting things. Precisely, every character has big ass hands, so they seem to be very accustomed to just striking someone from close distance, but then on top of that the game has assist items that help you achieving your goal, the environments are also destructible which is a nice touch, everything seems to be custom designed very much in the anime style. In comparison to all the other games in the genre, this kinda stands out on its own, maybe even some sort of a Super Smash Bros but in this Japanese package. I'm curious to see the mechanics because it's very out of style for my dearest and if the quality holds up, I can definitely see this taking over the store. It just needs to keep some basic factions like bot system and stuff like that to keep it alive in the long run. Visually it seems nice, cool special effects like not stuff that I've seen before. We'll have to see if the performance also holds up because any the framescape would be like a detriment in the gameplay. Let's go punch your way to the victory. We will start a simulated combat training for runners. To cultivate your skill in battle, I shall assume the role of your adversary. Okay, well, <laughs> that solves the issue. The resolution from distance is not the craziest. Much like the textures. Looks very flat, even though there are shadows, which is interesting combination. Nice moves. Check the next objective. Jesus. Oh, it's kinda like movement based. That's intense, but also big frame skips. Why am I going up though? I'm not aiming even there. Let's head to the next place. Well, that's definitely something new with the combat dynamic. Bienvenido, I'm Legacy, like you. I'm one of the participants of the presidential war. However, it seems like you're still learning the ropes. Come on, follow me. Something's wrong with the movement prediction. Like, when I press forward, it doesn't go forward. Never give up. Try again. Like at all. Get up. I'm curious if you do this well next time. <laughs> Jesus. Again. Fast? Great. Let's head to the next place. Can we stop with the performance? Like, 
It's not even the main game. On my shoulder. It's like literally on my shoulder, not like behind my back. You're pretty good at shooting, huh? The controls are a mess. Oh, that's your skill. Great. Let's head to the next place. Reload. Check the next objective. Never give up. Try again. Oh wow, the camera like follows. Again. <laughs> Never give up. Try again. Unleash the gauntlet's power. Reload. It's gonna be interesting in combat to like be focused on one target. <laughs> Incredibly. Oh, time's up, eh? <laughs> My god, like, the movement is just... not it. We shall see. With this, we conclude the virtual combat training. I'm looking forward to battling you directly from now on. Hasta luego. I suppose I'll head straight to the field because I lost a lot of time on training and downloading the patch for some reason. I think I stick with her with those games into kind of read through and Is it random then? <laughs> a bunch of boulders. That's a brilliant idea. So it's a team matchup. Maybe I'll stick with someone.
I'm constantly punching my wall. Okay. <laughs> Edge is moving. Oh, it's like changing. <laughs> wow. Interesting. That's pretty fast. And very dynamic, like... If not for the horrendous directional attacks, then this would be very good, but... It's just fine. <laughs> is refreshing sweetie we should chat in the vip lounge next time i forgot to talk about the graphics and stuff for standalone they're fine Ready? 360 does a very good illusion and the effects themselves are relatively nice so I feel like I'd have to fiddle with the options, which I don't have time now, but the control scheme is definitely wrong. Definitely is good to go in teams. You're under my protection now. I I wonder also how our attacks solved in combination. Like both players attacking at the same time. The stage size is also pretty good. You're under my protection now. Okay, I think. Destroy. Reload. Like 
I never even used the ability. What the hell? That's one more. Okay. I don't really know what to think about it because while the core concept is relatively cool and wasn't done that way on the store so far, the main problem lies in the control system, target guidance and just overall chaos on the battlefield. Like there's a lot going on but you can't do much about it because with the punches and dashes they're not going where you want it to be. Maybe it's a matter of fiddling with the options so I would have to see it later but by default it's very messy. For the rest I dig it. The resolution is a little bit low even in the lobby. Models cool, FX cool, like as a whole package I see the future of it. It's just that it needs some fine tuning to make it a comfortable experience.